So therefore, when we look, if you ask me my perspective, when I look at Chimen, yeah, this is the chart we are looking at for Chimen, right? These are the chart, right? So it's a better ground. Yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, something that we're going to talk, uh, it's like a chess board, right? A chess board here have a uh, different, different uh, uh, component here. So in a, when you play a chess, right? Yeah, the whole goal here, what is your goal to when you play a chess? Of course, you want to win, or not, right? How do you know you're going to win? Then you actually uh, need to actually uh, look into it. Yeah, you need to have to, in a position, you're able to call checkmate, right? That's when you're winning. Yeah, that's a game of chess. So on the right-hand side here, I'm, uh, I'm showing here is the chessboard. Uh, the right hand, the left hand side, is the chessboard, and then the right side here is the achievement chart, right? So the point I try to make here is when you look at the achievement chart, it's also a chess pieces here. All of them have different strategy. Yeah. So the achievement chart will guide you. You know how do you actually uh, uh go through uh, uh this part here, right? So this is something that uh the achievement chart can tell you. Yeah. What is your plan? What is your tactic? What is your battle? What is your strategy to do this? Yeah, so these are the part that we are a lot of us here actually uh, use this to actually help ourselves yeah, to become better. Yeah, so this is the one that we actually do a lot. So and I think that uh, let me just stop this screen sharing here. Yeah, so I think that when you uh, look at Chimen, these are the one. Then how do we derive all the battle, right? So all the battle and. Um, a strategy and all those things is the thing here is we try to link yeah we try to link uh the achievement chart with the military classics right because in uh chinese uh literature and also the all the classics they are one what we call the five military classics yeah like the uh six jiang art of war right so and then there are also a zhuge liang out of art of war and then sun Tzu. And then I think you heard about the 36 stratagems, right? So uh, all of this are uh, of uh, the Ghost Valley, right? So all of these things here are talking about this part. So uh, one of the things that uh, Zhu Ge Liang, uh, he, he mentioned this, you know, uh, the wise man, they win before the fight. Yeah, but the, uh, the fool will fight to win, right? So which one are better position? Yeah, you, you prepare so you win even before the fight happen or you want to fight to win. Of course, the first one is better, right? So the whole goal here of winning, actually, sometimes you don't need to fight, you also can win one, you know, right? So that's the whole goal because the moment you're already fighting, yeah, then there will be a problem already, right? So which means that there will be pain. So these are the things that uh, we are looking at, right? So let me just give you some glimpse of uh, this thing here. When we look at the chart, let me show you the screen right now. Okay, so let me bring back this chart again here. So just now I share with you, you know, the this is the something similar, yeah. Chiman chart is same like a chessboard. So chessboard, there are two, uh, there are two opponent, right? So there are white pieces and then some black pieces. So in Chiman, also there are only there are also two uh, opponents here. One are the white pieces and then one is a black one, right? So let me show you, uh, this one. Next slide. So in Chimen, so these are the two uh, opponent, yeah, or the two side, uh, the white pieces, and the, these are the leader. That's why this slide here talking about the battle of the kings, right? So if you look at the Chimen charges now, yeah, what we are actually uh, looking at is this part, right? So which means Jia, the character here Jia is mean one side, yeah, the white pieces, and then the another. Uh, character here is called Keng. Yeah, Keng is the is the other the black pieces, right? So there are two groups here: the Battle of the Titans, if you might, if you will, right? May we call it the Battle of Titans or Battle of the Kings, right? So here, so if you look at the chart, let's say I bring you the chart, right? So let me see. remember these two characters first. Yeah, these are the king, right? So these are the king here. So let me look at the chart. So if you look at the chart, tell me, can you find the uh, where is the the king or not yeah the king in the chart yeah so let me see here so if you look at the king where is the king in the chart tell me okay so do you see one here yeah i know it's very small yeah this one is the king yeah this one is the king all right one of the king so then another one is the jia right remember there are two right 
So there are another one here. But one thing about Chimen is some uh, there are slight difference between uh, uh, Chimen here is Chimen have the tendency to hide the Jia. That's why the word Chimen Dun Jia actually talking about mystical door hiding the Jia. Right? So their thinking is if I can hide the king, you cannot call checkmate because you only can call checkmate when you kill the king, right? So Chimen work in a way that, you know, uh, is work from the concept is as long as I hide the king, right? Then you cannot kill the king. <laughs> That's how it works. So therefore, the whole Chimen Dunja word say hiding the Jia mean it's a mystical door hiding the king, right? So if you learn Chimen, then of course you can look at uh, a shortcut here. If you want to know where the king is, you always look at where the chief deity is, right? So this one, because this character here are not designed to appear in the chart, in the chessboard because it's afraid you to kill the king. But if you learn Chimen, right, the shortcut is like this. If you want to locate the king, always look at the chief deity. The chief deity is where the king lies. Okay, so if you look at the deity, it's all in the top right corner. All right, so all, all, so you see, do you see that there's a chief here? Right, you see there's a chief here, right? So the moment you see a chief here means that this one is the, uh, is the king. Yeah, it's the king of uh, the, uh, there are two here. So you know that one is here. Yeah, there's one king here. And then there's the second one is here. Mm. So when we look at the chart from this one, we are looking at the wall perspective, right? So this one is a, is a very, very different way of seeing a chart, you know, when or compared to when we do a normal forecasting chart. Right, forecasting chart, we ask about small item, right? We're talking about, you know, how can I piss this person off? How can I actually uh, uh, apply for this job? But this one talking about something more, right? If you want to build an empire, you want to create breakthrough in your life, you're talking about something big, right? That requires several steps to achieve it. We need to look at the bigger scale of things, right? So that's what this uh, uh, Warcraft from, right? So that's why uh, there are all of these elements inside here. Yeah, it does tell you the information. Yeah, information about uh what to do one, you know. So some of you learned forecasting before, right? Some of you didn't, right? So if you learn forecasting before, yeah, let me just show you this. If you learn forecasting for before, let's say, yeah, let's say, yeah, example here. So let's say you discover that uh your strategy, your strategy of winning, let's say, is appear on uh, this box. Let's say. Right, let's say this is let's let's say you ask a question about Chimen. The Chimen say South Box is your solution. So all this element inside the box will tell you strategy. Yeah, it will tell you certain strategy what to do. Okay, so one of the uh, one of the thing that we look at is the star as well. You see, there's a star here. This is what we call a seven star path. You know, so each of the stars actually in the chart. Right, you see. Every box will have a star uh, level except one, right? So all the eight, seven boxes will have a star. So if let's say your strategy is here, all this information here will tell you what to do, right? So when, if you see this one, okay, this is, how do you know this is a three star? Because there are one, two, three, okay? So it, there's a three circle there. So every time a three is three star, if south is your strategy box, the achievement chart tell you this box is, a, you need to attack. Yeah, you need to attack. Yeah, so which means that you need to actually attack already. No, no longer you need to wait. It already tell you immediately like this. Yeah, so the moment you see this uh, uh three star here, okay. So every star, not only the star, the deity, the stars, the doors, which tell different, but it will give you an introduction, right? How do you actually read uh, or apply technique? You see the three star. Yeah, represent that these are the time that you need to actually attack, right? So if you let's say. Or let's say your box is here. Okay, so let's say I clear this. Let's say later on you plot a, a Warcraft chart and then you discover that, you know, your your strategy is here. Then you can, all the strategy can come from here. Can come from here. Or this also strategy one, you know. Let's say now uh, to start this as uh, we look at this individually first, let's easiest one, you look at the star. So if you look at the stars here, the seven star path, these are two stars, right? So three stars just now represent attack. Yeah. So if you have a two star, two star represent now is the defense time. Yeah. You are not strong enough to attack. So now you need to have a play a defense role here. 
So we are working for a company. Right now, don't outshine anyone. Stay low profile, right? If you're star number three means what? Yeah, right now in your work, you know, it's a time to showcase your talent, right? It's the right timing. Yeah, so these are the one here. So this is the, uh, the style will change one, you know, not every time, yeah, not every time number three will be in the south. Yeah, because the number three could appear anywhere. It's, let's, you just now just show an example, because if you plot a, another chart, the number three style will be happen to be uh, different uh, places one, you know, right? So these are like this person asked, yeah, Cherry, is it a three star attack or is it south is the attack? So uh, to clarify your question here, the three star represent attack, not the south. Right, the south is just a sector. Okay, this if you plot the next chart here, the, the three star could happen to be in the southwest or west, you know, they could be on different location. You know, so these are the one that you're looking at. Okay. Yeah, so this is only if you ask for strategy, right? Not every time you need to attack one, you know. Let's say you ask, you know, how can I help my friend? And then you got the three star doesn't mean you need to attack your friend, okay? <laughs> so it depends on the question you ask or not. Right, if right now you say how is my strategy yeah to win uh, or to sell my uh, or, or, or to, actually right now is a time to actually hold my horses down or i want to attack if you ask the question is about strategy then you get number three means it's attack if you get number two you know mean it's defense all right there are a lot of things to learn now, right so i cannot explain everything at once they actually attack also in under attack they also different strategy one you know there are fire strategy there are thunder strategy there are so many things you know contain within one star one you know because now i just tell the concept yeah at least you know what it's been okay so let's answer some question here so nico he he okay if seven star means what okay all right so let me just clear this here so where where is the seven star in the chart first tell me yeah, where is the seven star in the chart yeah if you're able to locate it i'll tell you what it means Look at the chart. Where is the seven star located? Is it in the south box or is it in the southeast box or is it in the northeast or is it in the east? Which box that contains seven stars? Okay, a lot of you here say in the east. Okay, all right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, if some of you don't know, yeah, let me tell you why is is so. Uh, it's because there is a. You see the box here. Okay, hold on. Now. Let me clear this again. Okay, let me draw again. So do you see here there's a seven star here, right? Seven star, if you're talking about strategy, yeah, this one means that, you know, uh, it, it means that the whatever strategy you are applying right now, you need to undeclare the war. Means you need to tell your enemy you give up. Actually, you're not one, you know. You tell your enemy you need to leave the game because you undeclare the war. Because if you... Uh, undeclare the war, you remove yourself from the game, the enemy cannot attack you anymore because you're no longer an enemy, right? Like sometimes you see some singer, right? Yeah, that they, they are they say that okay, yeah, I want to, I want to uh, actually, uh, this is the last year I'm singing, you know, so I want to actually, uh, actually have a world tour of my last concert, right? Okay, then everyone's so excited, right? Because the last is the last concert, right? Everyone go, okay, after that, he announced retirement, yeah, that is seven star. Right, but after a few years, yeah, this person might also come back, right? They say, okay, I make a comeback again because I love you guys so much, I decided to sing again. Yeah, this strategy is about seven star, right? They undeclare the war, so the enemy don't have a target to attack already. Yeah, or they let the enemy think that you are surrendering. Yeah, this is a very powerful star. <laughs> right, so yeah, this one interesting. Uh, so these are the one that yeah when we look at uh, a better ground you know these are one of the part this is only one of the part right because there are so many things you know they are in the chart you know we're we just talking about the stars one you know right so the deity also means something about strategy the 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 stars and the doors you know and then the stem all of them here will actually uh, uh tell you something very very different here yeah so okay some of you asking about the doors right so if you if you look at the doors 
I would say normally during a war, uh, these two doors are very, very important. Yeah, so you look at the door, doors is, uh, let me see. Hum door, rest door, open door, fear door. Fear door is very important for war. And then one more is a scenery door. Yeah, so let me write down here. Fear and scenery. Okay, so this do door here. So scenery door, scenery door is a very, very, uh, a very, very unique door because this door here talking about a uh, uh, deception because all the wall is talking about deception, right? So in the end is whether you're able to outsmart your enemy or not, or not right? So scenery is a scenery is a door of, uh, it's like you're portraying something on outside, but actually you are not. Right, for example, like scenery doors like this, you go and meet your enemy, right? You pretend that you're afraid of your enemy. You you actually uh, beg for mercy, but actually you're a stronger one, you know. So you want your enemy to let their guard down so you can attack easily. That is scenery door, right? So scenery door talking about the the door of deception. Anyway, of all the of all the door, all right. So scenery door is the door is a powerful door whenever you're talking about a war, right? Or warcraft. Right, so these are the things that you are you are looking at, right? So how about the fear? Yeah, fear is different. Yeah, fear is you actually instill, yeah, the fear on your of on your enemy. So even the the they're taught to think that they want to engage a war with with you already scares them off because you're too powerful, right? Some the fear could be right. Uh, some people drop names, right? They tell you you know whoever you know so or they show you that they're really powerful. Right, they are very rich, you know. So they are there are so many ways you instill fear. Like you see, sometimes let's say uh you see some office, right? When you go visit someone's office, all right, and then they invite you into their office room, and they'll discover that he actually put a lot of photos that he took free with a lot of influential person, like prime minister, you know, a popular person or powerful person that stick at the wall. What they try to do, tell me. All right, have you been to someone's office and then you see that their whole office is a lot of photos? about that person take with some or someone else a right popular or powerful figure yeah that is a field door strategy right the moment you go there already right you're already fearful you wow, are this person yeah is really someone you know you know so many person right so that is the one that you know uh how the field door strategy work i just give you some of the uh uh in uh tactic that a lot of people use on warfare sometimes very subtly okay so let's answer some question here Okay, yes, means say uh, isn't a harm door. Okay, harm door in a war uh, is not so favorable because the moment you see a harm door, harm door is like this. Uh, harm door means that the war already starting. Yeah, the war already starting uh, mean that already there's a pain already. Yeah, so which means that a lot of death, even you win, right? Your soldier also could be injured, right? So if you can remember just now, there's a Chu Keliang quotes there. He say that the 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 wise will win before the fight, you know, and then the fools fight to win. So Hamdor is a fool, right? They fight to win. Yeah, even you win sometimes, you so have some casualties. So the higher one is your enemy surrender. Even the 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 thoughts to fight you, to engage a battle with you already scares them off. Yeah, that is a psychological war. That is the most powerful of time of Warcraft. Don't you think there's even more? Because if you do a harm door, means even you fight, maybe you win, yeah, maybe you also lose someone, you know. So if you have a choice, would you rather win before you fight or you want to fight to win? Yeah. So if you want to fight to win, then use harm door. Right? So if the ideal door that I would like to use, yeah, these are the two doors, the fear door and also the uh, uh, uh the scenery door. Okay, I know a lot of people ask, uh, can I show you this? Can I show you that? There's so many things to show here, you know. So uh, that one, if you're interested, then you go and study this. Yeah, every one of this chief star and all of this here, all of them here have the the different uh, uh thing here. Yeah, it will take you some time to do this. But at least right now, I'm gonna uh, sh show you the concept here. How do we see the chart? You know, uh, differently right now, right? So don't you think that you know, uh, now you see the achievement chart is slightly different. Right, instead of just uh uh asker and subject matter, you have a different perspective how we read the chart from a Warcraft uh, uh so-called uh, uh perspective. 